hello everybody and welcome on this day when we would usually come together in Peterborough to give thanks for and celebrate the life and work of our old Choristers Association. I'm hugely grateful to my friends and colleagues who have enabled me to put together this video for us to be able to send you in the absence of being able to meet today in person. As you know, this weekend we would have come together and joined together in song to celebrate and enjoy all of the accomplishments of choristers both past and present and I'm so sorry that we can't welcome you here this year after all. Nonetheless, this video will remind us of our common purpose and you're all still going to get a chance to sing an old favourite together in a few minutes. So rouse everyone in your house and gather them together for a good old sing at the end. Even the rugby players will know the one we've planned for you. Like everyone, everywhere, life here at Peterborough is really quite different. We've been plummeted into a new way of existing for the time being, but I'm delighted that one of the positives to emerge from this is that we've been able to live stream our worship that we have been pre-recording. And I know many of you have enjoyed that, enjoyed the opportunity to watch our worship any time of night or day, wherever you are in the world. And that's brilliant and something we really hope will continue in the future. Musically, we responded very quickly here, and so the children have already been um, having online lessons and group rehearsals since before Easter. They've been working incredibly hard at maintaining their repertoire and learning new solo pieces along the way. They've participated in broadcasts, they've made recordings, they've done all sorts of really creative things. We've had a competition every couple of weeks and those competitions have included making choir cookies, learning the books in the Bible to be able to recite all 66 from memory, making Lego cathedrals, growing sunflowers and vegetables, all sorts of things and it's been wonderful to see the choir team stay together throughout all of this. A couple of choristers are going to tell you a little bit about what their music means to them during this video. So let's begin with Toby, who is a more senior chorister, and we're going to find out what he's particularly enjoyed in choir over the last year or two as he's become more accomplished. I've been a chorister for more than five years, and over the past year I've gotten more solos and singing trickier pieces. I always feel proud when I get a solo. One of the services that I enjoy the most is Wednesday Evensong with its upper voices. We make a massive sound and it sounds really good. Choir has changed as I've got older. It's really fun and I, and I always enjoy it. I love spending time singing with my friends and it's good to share our tea times together, catching up on the day and playing together and relaxing. Concerts at the cathedral or, or anywhere are exciting and joyful. They can be challenging with a big repertoire, but that's always rewarding. I especially love the Christmas concert as Miss Catadines make sure that everyone gets involved. It really feels like a big community event. Recently we toured to America and that was the most fun I've had ever. We travelled to California and to prepare, we worked so hard to fundraise in lots of different ways, along with preparing our repertoire to a high level. In, in America, all the concerts were very well, well received and all the places we went to were spectacular, Los Angeles, Santa Maria and San Francisco. There were also great trips in between the music making and especially led the day in Universal Studios. Looking back at choir so far, my favourite piece has to be Blessed Be the God of Hover by Wesley. I love it and it has the solo I want to sing the most in it. I'm looking forward to for when we can sing it together again and I enjoy hearing pieces like that in the beautiful cathedral. It's fantastic to hear that the choristers think of their time in the choir in such a creative and varied way. I'm guessing you're starting to think about your favourite pieces or which days of the choir year you enjoyed the most. Well, of course, all of that begins somewhere as a little seven year old probationer. And this year, just like any other, we took on a group of probationers last September. And whilst their experience of choir this year and their first year in choir has been rather different, I think it's made no less impact. So let's hear from Josephine how she feels about choir as she's experienced it so far. I'm very new to the choir because I'm in my first year. The choir has already made a big difference to me as I have made lots of friends and love travelling to the cathedral and eating biscuits. I am learning lots about music and learning new songs all the time, even during Zoom sessions. It's lovely to still be able to sing with my friends. I even made a Lego cathedral as I can't go there at the moment. I can't wait to be able to sing in the cathedral with all the other choristers and one day get to my slap list. It's lovely to remind ourselves of where it all started, isn't it? 
It's no secret that being a chorister and singing the daily services over all of those years prepares us for a life in such a rich and varied way. Let's hear from another of our choristers about how the skills that they've learnt through singing in the cathedral choir has helped them manage lockdown. The musical skills I have learnt in choir that have helped me to continue singing successfully during lockdown have included reading and singing a great range of music. I've enjoyed singing in Latin amongst other languages and I have used vocal techniques such as twang to develop my sound. Also, sight singing has helped me to read and learn new pieces of music, which is extremely important for future pieces. As I am an only child, solos in choir for me are a great chance to show that I can do things for myself and are great practice for personal discipline and bravery. I have also learned lots of non-musical skills in choir too, such as team building skills and independence. I have used these as a guide in my remote online work. My exercise schedule for rowing has helped me to maintain stamina, breathing control and keep my core strength, all of which have helped me and supported my singing during sessions. Cooking at home has also been useful with my timing, organisation skills and preparation for online Zoom calls so that I'm ready for choir. Our choristers here at Peterborough have been incredibly resourceful and thoughtful during this time and we're immensely proud of them for all of their continued singing. It's our aspiration as the Cathedral Music Department to come out of the other side of this better off in the long run as we look to making a recovery plan. Nevertheless, it's no secret that choral music within the world is going to look a little bit different over the coming months. And in tandem with the fact that many of our revenue sources have plummeted or completely dropped out altogether for this year, that will present us some challenges. If ever there was a year when your OCA sub could make a real difference, it will be over the next year or two. Last year, roughly 10% of the over 400 members kindly paid their subs. And if everybody in the OCA was able to contribute their sub this year, roughly the price of a drink, a cup of coffee once a month, just think of the difference that could make. That could support three choristers for the year, three choral scholars and an organ scholar. And the difference that would make to the music in our liturgy would be huge. The forms to set up a standing order are on the OCA website now. So if you can do that today, having not spent any money to come here and join us or bought a round of drinks today, then please do consider paying your sub. We would be hugely grateful. If you or a business associate would like to offer any other sort of philanthropic support to help us secure the choir's long term future, then please do be in touch with me personally. We want here at Peterborough to be able to educate and inspire through music ad infinitum. And any donation that any of you feel that you can give today will make an enormous difference to maintaining the choral tradition that we all know and love. We simply won't survive or be recognisable without your urgent support. So thank you for considering donating your OCA sub this year. And do be in touch with me if you'd like to chat more about choir plans for the future. I'd like to draw to a conclusion now by thanking on your behalf all of the choristers who have shared their experiences with you and those who continue the choral tradition here and express my thanks to all of you for everything that you have contributed to Peterborough Cathedral Music in the past. We will be able to celebrate and enjoy our music making together in the future and when we next come together, gosh, won't that be a really wonderful party and a much needed day. I shall look forward to all of that immensely and in the meantime send you good wishes from here at Peterborough. Stay well, stay safe and sing out loud now as we join together to sing that great hymn, Guide Me O Thou Great Redeemer. <laughs>
Finally, as we are led by one of our choristers in prayer, let us join together all of our hopes and aspirations and thank God for our ministry and music as we look forward to once again being able to come together and celebrate and spread the mission of the church through our song. Thank you all for joining us today and watching and sending very best wishes from everyone here at Peterborough. In the words of the chorus's prayer, let us pray together. Let us, O Lord, us thy servants who minister in thy temple. Grant that what we sing with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and what we believe in our hearts we may show forth in our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>